let us start to introduce the Fun in the Sun webinar today. A big thank you to everybody. I know it's busy out there, so I, we appreciate you coming on. Um, I'd like to let everybody introduce themselves as normal. Um, Graham, tell us who you are, where you're from, and what your prize is today, please. Hi, everybody. Uh, good afternoon. My name's Graham, Graham Hawkins. I'm the UK sales person for Impressive Results in Punta Cana, Domrep. And we're giving a lovely prize away today of 50 pounds. Uh, voucher will be heading your way uh, if you're lucky enough to win with the question. Super, thank you very much, Graham. And it's not the question, it's winning on the prize draw spin to win. Prize draw. <laughs> Sorry, my question, your, your will, yeah. Super, super. I'd also like to introduce Katie, who's looking very tanned today. Uh, <laughs> Katie, welcome. Tell us who you are and where you're Hello, um, I'm Katie. I am the UK sales rep for uh, Southern Cross Hotels. Uh, so that's Preskill and Solana. And uh, yeah, so I and yeah, I am looking quite tanned. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but wearing orange always helps. Uh, yeah. It's reflective. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So and uh, I also have a lovely uh, 50 pound voucher for a prize. Super amazing. Thank you very much. We've also got Carolyn. Carolyn, welcome. Tell us who you are, where you're from today. Thank you. Hi, good afternoon and good morning, everybody. Carolyn Brown from Little Harbour Estates on the island of Anguilla. We have three fabulous um, villas on the island and I have a £50 voucher as well um, to the lucky winner. Super, thank you very much. Graham, you're going first. Will you please transport us to the Dominican Republic to your impressive results? Will do. I'm just going to put you on there now. Put you up there. Get rid of everybody else. Right, so welcome once again. My name's Graham, and I'm going to take you over to the beautiful, impressive results in Punta Cana. Um, it's a fantastic destination. I know there's been a lot of activity around Dominican Republic this week, especially on the MBR uh, sites and platforms. So hopefully you're learning that information. And with the information today about the impressive uh, results, uh, it'd be forefront of your mind when it comes to selling a fantastic destination and a fantastic result. So the impressive, a five-star all-inclusive hotel on the Bavero region of Punta Cana, beautiful beach area, um, just 25 minutes from the airport. You can see uh, where Dom Rep is, if you didn't know. It's an all year round destination, which is important to remember. So there's flights going down there all year round. As I say, just 20, 25 minutes uh, from the main airport, very easy transfer um, over to the impressive. And when you get there, it's even more impressive. The reception area welcomes you with open arms. Now with the impressive brands, there are two brands under one impressive umbrella. You've got the impressive uh, Punta Cana, and then you've got the impressive premium Punta Cana. Premium really is just like giving yourself a, a an upgrade, a better located room, slightly better amenities and facilities, uh, but we will talk about that in just a little while. But when you check in, great reception area, nice and cool, uh, very inviting. You get there and they will take you to your rooms. Um, but look at that. I love this picture. And um, we're talking about fun in the sun. You can't get more fun in the sun than down in Domrep, Bavero Beach, beautiful pool, and look at that. And this picture always reminds me, not only will your clients have a fantastic time at a result, this picture reminds me to tell you, we do agent rates as well. So if you ever want to get down to Punta Cana and the impressive results, to experience it for yourself, that all-inclusive feeling, do contact us at any time. And if available, we will give you some agent rates. But just look at that uninterrupted views over the Caribbean Sea. You won't get much better viewing than the impressive results just there. Now, the standard rooms for your clients to enjoy. This is the impressive standard side of the resort. Beautiful king size, super king size beds. Great views there. Everything you would expect in a five-star resort. TV, Wi-Fi, mini bar, um, sort of shower, bath. Um, there as well, tea, coffee making facilities, ice bucket to chill your cocktails with as well. But great rooms, absolutely very spacious indeed. Um, there are 654 rooms on that side and on the premium side, slightly smaller with just under 255 rooms. And together with those room totals, that's considered quite a boutique hotel in the Punta Cana region in Don Rep in general. It's got less than... Um, uh, a thousand rooms that makes it a boutique. Some of the hotels down there have 3,000 rooms plus. It's like a whole village 
very impressive. Nice, small, boutique style resort in uh, Punta Cana. And this is your private check-in area if you do upgrade to the premium side as well. You have your own concierge service, your own lounge area, slightly um, better located rooms with uninterrupted views over the sea. There's your executive lounge on the premium side. Now, with this upgrade to premium, uh, you can either do it here in the UK, so you can earn your own commission, or the clients may, may, will get asked on reception on arrival if they do want to uh, upgrade if there's availability. And the one thing we do get, people do say, why wasn't I asked by my agent? So always look out for the impressive premium. It's a very worthwhile and affordable upgrade from about $25 a day. And this in executive lounge uh, serves breakfast. You can have your own private breakfast area and snacks, teas and coffees throughout the day as well. And the bedrooms on the premium side, slightly larger, do have sunken jacuzzi baths as well, uninterrupted views over that beautiful Caribbean sea, uh, lovely sized bathrooms as well, and just a nice sized bedroom, beautiful king size TV at the end of the bed. Uh, so you could be woken up uh, with the local news and films in the evening, but it's all there. That's the premium side of the resort. Now, on the resort itself, there are five a la carte restaurants. There's a buffet ref, ref, uh, restaurant as well. There's a couple of snack stations located around. Ideal with the boys and girls. Uh, you don't have to worry about paying for anything when you're there. Boys and girls, mums and dads, they can have the snacks throughout the day, the drinks. If it's chips and pizzas, they can eat as many as they like. There's some great buffet restaurants, restaurants and five a la carte. There's up to seven bars available on an all-inclusive basis, which is phenomenal. It's fantastic. My favourite place when I'm down there is the little uh, coffee shop. It's hidden just around the back of reception. Do beautiful cappuccinos and a biscuit. Again, on the all-inclusive, and it's fantastic. There's a wine cellar, and you can have room service to room at a local charge as well. But look at that. Can you just imagine having your breakfast there or your evening meal uh, in the steakhouse, uninterrupted views. And this restaurant is right on the beach. Absolutely fantastic. And the way the resort is designed, it capsulates those beautiful sunsets in the evenings. With that kaleidoscope of colours coming your way. Honestly, you can sit there with your loved one and you will remember these moments forever. Now, I did say there was an range of restaurants. You've got an Italian, you've got the buffet restaurant, you've got a Yakamashi Japanese restaurant. And you've even got a Mediterranean healthy eating restaurant called the Olive Tree. That's the Mediterranean restaurant, the Olive Tree down there as well. Very fresh uh, salads and vegetables uh, down there at the Olive Tree. But look at that beautiful beach. Absolutely stunning beach. It's the only, uh, only one of four blue flag certification beaches. Uh, beautiful incline into the water. Very safe for the boys and girls. And non-swimmers, you can easily go paddling in there. And if you have a look in the distance, you can see that fantastic boardwalk or a pier, what we would call a pier, they call it a boardwalk. And this is ideal game to capture the evening sunsets. You can sit on there and have your cocktails, but it is a fantastic wedding location. A lot of people will use it to celebrate either a wedding, a renew of vows or an anniversary. Uh, and it's the only one on the island of um, Don Reb. So it's really good. But just look at that beautiful Bavaro beach uh, there. And some the lounges are all complimentary. And there's bars along the beach within the impressive brand. Now, I put this picture on there. One, you can see the restaurants, which are literally right on the beach. But there you can see how low rise it is around the resort. Yeah, you can just see how low rise you can. Um, if you need shade, there's plenty of shade there when the sun does get very, very warm in the afternoons. And if you wanted to come outside the resort, you can turn left or right and a selection of bars and restaurants to choose from. If you did want a, a day out away from the resort, but you can see just how beautiful green and lush the resort is as well in the restaurants right on the beach and that beautiful pier coming out. And this is on the premium side of the resort. I said earlier on, you do have a few added extra amenities. And here on the premium, you have your own selection of the beach, your own beach cabanas. Um, and there you can have snacks throughout the day. There's a premium bar with uh, premium branded drinks for your clients to enjoy. You can have uh, service on the beach for your food and drink. Four swimming pools around the resort as well. There's an adult only pool, a swim up bar as well. And there's an activity pool for you guys to enjoy. And the biggest decision you're going to have to make is what drinks you're going to order for the day and what pool should we sit around today? Absolutely stunning for your clients to enjoy at the impressive results. 
Well, one of my favorite places when I'm down there uh, is the gym open 24 um, seven. And so if you've got clients crazy and mad enough that want to keep fit and burn off those calories uh, when you're down there eating and drinking all the time, the gymnasium is great. You've got some really great high end equipment for your guys to enjoy. It is supervised. Uh, you do need your pass key to get in. It's very, um, very air conditioned and great uh, facilities there. And of course, we're here for fun in the sun. Fun in the sun means let's have some great time on vacation. And there is a family club, club full of boys and girls to join in from early morning to late evening. There's evening entertainment for the boys and girls. Um, and there's a great playhouse and fun activities. There's a real good uh, animation schedule for the boys and girls to enjoy. And if the boys and girls are happy, the mums and dads are going to be even more happy that their loved ones are enjoying themselves. So uh, There's a great range of activities from water polo, volleyball, beach workouts, fun and games as well um, on the uh, animation team that's resident there and in entertainment every night of the week. Some professional cabarets that visit the resort and the an resident animation teams uh, would have fun and games as well. A teen area, so if you're taking teenagers, they want to chill out zone, they've got that especially for them. So the teen club at the Impressive. Now new this year, um, especially for the family market, we do have... Uh, special family rooms, two rooms are connected. One side is for mum and dad, and the other side for maybe the little ones that join in door, you can keep open. Uh, or if you've got teenagers, you can keep that, let them have their private space and you can. But a kiddies area is designed for young ones. They've got um, all the toys there as well. They've even got step up saws for the, uh, for the sink areas. There's lots of fluffy stuff and ball games in there for the boys and girls to enjoy. Just um, uh, inquire about the family rooms at the time of booking. Back to mum and dad, they want to enjoy themselves. We have a fantastic beachfront cabana for massages, couples or singles. The therapy spa, the Phil Impressive Spa Wellness Centre at Resort is just amazing. A whole range of therapies and treatments for your clients to enjoy. Or you can do it in open air and just look and glaze over that Caribbean sea. I think, oh, wow, the world's a million miles away. Oh, how nice is that? And if you're big enough and brave enough, you do want to get married. Impressive is the number one result to get married on. It is very price sensitive for your clients. Uh, there's some great deals to be had from the UK tour operators. You can have beachfront weddings. You can have weddings maybe a little bit later in the afternoon in the shade. Um, you can have it even on that pier. Do you remember the boardwalk I was telling you about? It is there decorated for a beautiful wedding. They only do one wedding a day. It's not a conveyor belt. And look how beautiful it looks there. Just uninterrupted views. And this is a UK family we had down there in March. Uh, they went down there as a large group, very affordable for the whole group to attend the wedding. Um, they had it on the beach, lovely couple, and they've sent some beautiful uh, feedback for us. We really appreciate that. But look how the whole family and the group are enjoying themselves. All inclusive. You don't have to worry about the bar bill. That's all done. It's all taken care of. But how lovely and enjoyable. Do it to everybody look at that lovely wedding here, the impressive brand. Just a couple of little extras that we can offer you. We know it's a very competitive market. And if you do contact us and say, we just need something to push a sale over the line, um, do let us know. We can offer you what we call a wild card, um, just to offer your clients from you to your clients. Um, it could be a complimentary room upgrade, a romantic dinner for two, maybe on that pier, maybe a bottle of champagne on arrival from you guys or maybe a complimentary spa treatment. We can do all that for you. Remember, we're all on the same side. We want your clients to have a fantastic vacation at the Impressive Hotel. And if they do, they're going to come back and book again for you guys. Just some great feedback we've had on the social media sites there. Just telling you a great experience and how awesome it is. These are from earlier on in the year. And you can search these out yourselves. And that really is the Impressive brand. Um, great, great value for money. Um, really appreciate your support and tuning in today. Hope you enjoyed the presentation. And I look forward to asking you a question at the end where one of you will be lucky enough to go into the spinner wheel and win £50. Thank you so much. Super. Thank you very much, Graham. OK, so we're now going to leave the sunny Dominican Republic. Thank you for the great presentation, Graham. And we're moving over to Anguilla. We've got Carolyn. Carolyn, take us to your beautiful little harbour estates. Hello, everybody. And 
<clears throat> I wish I was there right now with my rather unpleasant cough and cold. But I'm going to talk, going from where Graham's been up in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. I'm heading down to the Leeward Islands in the Caribbean to the very small but beautifully formed Anguilla, British Overseas Territory. It's a little gem um, of just 15,000 people and three extraordinary villas of Little Harbour Estates. They are three privately owned villas by the same family. They are on two different locations across the island. It's a family business owned by the um, British family called the Barkers. And their fun in the sun started 33 years ago when they went to Anguilla and decided to build a beach house for themselves or look for a property. And it's all it's progressed over the years. And as Anguilla has 33 beaches, they've had 33 years on the island and now have three fabulous properties. And they are all very different. We have the beautiful beach house, which is um, on the island of, sorry, on the Meads Bay beach. This picture's gone a bit weird. Sorry, I'm just looking at that, um, which is a beautiful property. Um, it's actually on Meads Bay. Sorry, that just went a bit strange. So excuse me. Uh, the beach house is situated over here on Meads Bay, one of the iconic beaches on Anguilla. It's voted regularly as one of the best beaches in the world. And then the other two properties, Le Bleu and Villa Indigo are on the Little Harbour side of the island. So very, very different outlooks on, on the Little Harbour side, you're looking across to St. Martin and on the Meads Bay side, you're looking out across the beautiful ocean. Uh, getting to Anguilla, and I always put this in because obviously people are coming from all parts of the world and it can be quite difficult at times, but it's not that difficult. From America, you have, North America, I'm sorry, you have numerous options. We also have a direct service coming in from American Airlines from Miami now. From the UK, British Airways, Virgin, um, Atlantic coming into Antigua and also Air France and KLM and Condor coming in from Europe. One of the good things with the Antigua route now, we have Anguilla Air Services, who from November will be offering a scheduled service three times a week. And that's the first time that that has been on offer. So it's a really good option for guests that are coming in via the UK that want to trans have some maybe some time in Antigua and then across to Anguilla. So that's an option too. So there's three choices now. As I said, the three properties are very different. The Beach House, Le Bleu and Indigo, they're um, all very large in size. The Beach House can cater up to 16 guests. They have eight master suites. Um, they're fully staffed. All the villas are fully staffed. So whatever your clients want, whether they want their breakfast, lunch and dinners, or they want to dine out, because Anguilla is quite known for its dining options, all the properties are fully staffed with their private chef, but they can pick and choose how they want to enjoy, enjoy their culinary experience. Um, very modern in design. The beach house, as I said, looks out over the iconic Meads Bay. We also, you can see this area here to the left. That's a private area that we own as well. So great for people that want to have weddings or events or functions. Um, it, as I said, Mees Bay, you can't beat it. Stepping out of the little picket gate onto the beach in the morning, it is very, very special. For those that you know Anguilla, it is actually right between the Four Seasons, when you, which you can see up here in the top, and Malihana, which is behind. So a really great location. We've actually been doing a lot of work on the properties over the last few months too. So for the coming season, there'll be a number of enhancements, um, mainly to the furnishings and some of this and the new chef. We have a um, chef suites coming in. He'll be operating as our executive chef across the properties and providing some incredible new menus for the um, for the properties. So that's something that we're really, really pleased about. For families, it's fantastic. All the properties have facilities for games rooms. This is the basement of the beach house and also has a 16 cinema, a 16 seat cinema as well. Excuse me if I'm sounding croaky, I think I'm gonna cough. Um, a great property though. I mean, this is a picture that we took. I was actually there when this was taken. It's absolutely stunning. Then you have Le Bleu, again, a very different property to, um, to the beach house. The opposite side of the island at Little Harbour can take up to 20 guests. The property itself is actually right next to Indigo here on the left. So again, a great um, combination. If you've got guests that want events or there's large families, they can combine the two properties. But Le Bleu is quite different in itself. You have the main house here with a swimming pool. You then come through to the 
back of the property and we have a separate section again with another swimming pool, water gardens and tennis courts. And you can see our close proximity to St. Martin. So the outlook is absolutely stunning. And again, as I mentioned before, with all the with all three villas, you have a private chef, you have a concierge service. So anything your clients want, it's it's it is available to them. And we have a number of activities which I'll go through as well that we offer our guests. Um, you have a lovely beachfront facility here. It also has a jacuzzi. Um, all the bedrooms have beautiful outlooks across the ocean. And on a great day, you can also see St. Bart's. Um, mentioned the water garden. So this is the main staircase into the main house, going back through to the tennis court and then the second section of the property here. Again, excellent for people that are traveling with staff um, or security. We have a number of high profile guests um, and individuals that come to the property. So they're well catered for. And they're, well, I mean, Anguilla is very safe anyway, but you know, we do offer um, facilities if they are traveling with staff. Um, one thing I mentioned of the, with the size of the properties, both the beach house and Le Bleu have um, industrial kitchens separate from the main kitchens in the properties too. So again, great for parties, great for weddings, celebrations. Um, we can you know, really do some great things with that. And the other thing that we do very well is for kosher guests, we can actually um, have the properties catered for in that sense. We have a rabbi that comes over from St. Martin that can perform all the details that are needed to make sure the kitchens are correct for food preparation and serving. Villa Indigo is the, one of the original properties that the Barkers bought. It is again in two separate areas. Um, it has two swimming pools, can cater up to 20 guests. As I said, you've got Le Bleu over to the side. There's two secret little gates tucked in through the gardens here that you can access the property. But again, very much more of a traditional look. Um, as I said, we're making some enhancements to the properties at the moment, but you can see the one swimming pool here and then the second one is at the main, at the front of the property. All our properties have tennis courts as well, and we can get tennis pros in if people wish to have lessons. Um, so yeah, again, it goes back to everything that clients want they can have. And I think the really nice thing with the three properties, they are very different in design and interiors. And I think this really um, gives people a, a choice and an option. All the bedrooms, as I said, are beautifully um, appointed. And we are, as I said, making some additional changes as well. This is what we call Little Indigo, has its own separate pool. And there's two suites there as well. It connects to the main house. And again, that beautiful outlook, you know, breakfast and coffee looking over to St. Martin. And it gives you an idea of just the layout of the property. <laughs> excuse me. Um, our concierge, sorry, excuse me. Our concierge can cater to anything that your clients want, as I mentioned before, from spa and wellness, restaurant reservations, experiences and excursions, again, childcare, anything like that. We have a fantastic golf course on Anguilla as well. It's an 18-hole PGA standard. There's an 18 and a 9-hole course now. So, again, all available to your clients. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, when it comes to activities, again, whatever clients want they can have and we have a great number of opportunities from horse riding hiking as i mentioned the golfing cycling um, the mini moke hire you can do tours with that if they want to cycle anything you want not just for the big kids but also the little kids we have some really great things that we do we've even bought in the local tropical treats ice cream van for a family that wanted to do um, some fun things with their children so they could have ice creams from the from the local supplier at one of the properties um, as I mentioned, the mini mokes, they're great fun. <laughs> Sorry. Um, our dining, as I mentioned, we have uh, our chef sweets coming in for the season, the new season. And he has some amazing, amazing menus. He's worked for them internationally for a number of very, very um, high profile renowned properties as well. And we're excited about the menus that he's bringing to the resort, to the villas. Always a cheeky cocktail at sunset. As I mentioned, again, the celebrations, if it's a meeting, if you've got um, small group incentives, events, anything that you, you know, your clients are looking for. Again, with the three villas, we have, you know, great space and we can cater to whatever they require. And again, I think this is a beautiful shot just of how stunning Meads Bay is. And as I said, 
what I think is so cute, you've got this amazing modern design property in this little picket gate that you can come out in the mornings and just wander out and have a swim and a walk. It really is, you know, an absolute gem. And again, the weddings. Sorry, I am trying not to cough. And that's it, Little Harbour Estates. That's our three very different, very iconic um, properties on the island, um, all totally different. Great for big groups of not just families, but friends or celebrations and very happy to answer any questions at the end, if I can breathe. Okay. Thank you, Thank Carolyn, you. for making it through. And uh, yeah, lovely to see the uh, the gorgeous little villas. So thank you very much. Um, you yeah. can have a nice glass of water now. <laughs> and cough. <laughs> Bless her. Okay, so we're now leaving Anguilla and we're now going to move across to Mauritius. I'm waving at my lovely little hotels. Um, just before, if you've got any questions, please don't forget to pop them into the Q&A. So Katie, I'm going to hand over to you, take us and transport us to Maurice. All right, amazing. Uh, just bear with me. You'll all be pleased to know that my package has arrived, so I will not be interrupted by a loud doorbell during my presentation. So that's a relief. Uh, okay, so um, I am gonna uh, talk to you about two properties today. Uh, we'll whiz through them, I promise. Um, so I'm talking to you today about Preskill and Solana. So these are sister properties. Uh, in beautiful Mauritius and uh, very different, uh, but great for uh, all of your clients, I'm sure. <laughs> so first of all, let's have a little look at Preskill. So Preskill means almost island and it is almost, well, it is essentially an island. Uh, so we are a little island on the edge of a bigger little island of Mauritius. Um, and you can probably see just on the edge of the picture here, that um, there's just a little bridge connecting uh, the island to the mainland. So it's not a it's not a big bridge. It's not a long distance, but uh, it does mean that Preskill is nice and uh, quiet. You know, there's no other property surrounding it and it is all just on one island. So it's super, super safe. Um, in terms of the layout, this is what the property looks like. So um, we are. Also, sorry, I should have said, um, location wise, we are only a 10 minute drive from the airport. So um, obviously Mauritius is a it's a long flight for your clients uh, from the UK. You're looking at 12 hours if you do those direct flights. Uh, so having a nice short transfer time, especially with kids, is a real benefit here. Uh, we're not under a flight path. It's nothing like that. There's no noise, but it is just uh, a nice short transfer. So. In terms of the layout of the property, uh, you can see here, uh, so we arrive over the bridge and we come into the entranceway and you are greeted by this very large uh, pool and a view out to the, uh, the beach and the ocean beyond. It's a really, really lovely way to arrive. You're not enclosed or anything like that. It's all very open air. Um, we have our restaurant, main restaurant area and bars here uh, next to the large pool. We do also have a second smaller pool which is, um, it's called our family pool. Uh, it's surrounded by the family garden rooms, but actually to be honest, because it's smaller, it's quieter, it tends to be more adults uh, because obviously kiddies love a, a splash in a big pool. So um, that, that one does tend to be a bit quieter. We also have a, a, a beachfront restaurant here, which we'll talk about shortly. And then you can see we've got some beautiful, absolute beachfront uh, rooms, but we'll have a little look at all the different room categories in a moment. So why would you be sending your clients to Preskill? So um, Preskill is a, well, whatever you want to call it, four star superior, four and a half star. Um, it is, it's a really, really high standard four star uh, basically property. And it is the only one in that area of Mauritius on the Southeast. Uh, as I said, we're only a 10 minute transfer from the airport. And we face Ilagret, which uh, you can see in my picture, if uh, if you're having a, if you can see me there. Uh, so Ilagret is a island, uh, it's a preserved nature sanctuary, which you can go and visit. Uh, so that's a really cool thing to be able to do with, uh, with the family. 
Um, stunning views. You've got Lion Mountain, uh, which overlooks really honestly, like the views are absolutely incredible uh, from this property. Um, we're also near Blue Bay Marine Park, which is a really great place to visit for a day. Uh, really fantastic snorkeling. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's a really lovely location. And you could cycle there. It's, it's super easy. Um, you're also uh, just outside of Myberg Village. And um, Myberg is, is quite a historical uh, small fishing village in Mauritius. Uh, some big battles happened there. It's quite uh, it's quite significant. There's a nice little museum where you can learn a bit more about the history of Mauritius. Uh, so definitely worth uh, pottering into Myberg and having a little look around. Um, another big thing to note here, this is a very family friendly resort and our we do have several room categories that can accommodate up to two adults and three children. And that's three teenagers, not just three young children. Um, we also have a baby club, which is very exciting, um, three months to three years, uh, and that is free of charge for four hours a day. Amazing. There's no dress code. So you might find in Mauritius that some properties have a bit of a dress code in the evenings. Preskill does not. It's very laid back, very chilled out. You don't need to worry about that. Um, and then we've also got some great experiences, which we'll have a look at shortly. Uh, in terms of restaurants, what do we have? So we have Rendezvous, which is our main buffet restaurant that's open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, we've recently got a new chef and the food is excellent. Um, I was there a couple of months ago. I can attest to the very, very nice food. Um, and so we also have Mosaic, which is our a la carte restaurant. So that is available every night for dinner. And uh, that is Mediterranean style food. Those two are both included if you're on your um, half board, full board, all inclusive. 1810 is our beach restaurant. So this is a lovely uh, restaurant, very casual during the day. Um, and then of an evening, it's a little bit higher end, um, more sort of seafood. Uh, that one, you get a small credit if you are on all inclusive, uh, but it is a paid restaurant. And then we also have Medley Bar, which is our very large central bar. And uh, that is available uh, for all your lovely beverages um, throughout the day. So let's have a little look at the accommodation. Um, so as you can see, very clean and very sort of, it looks really, really fresh. Basically, Preskill was almost completely, uh, well, I'm going to say renovated, but it was basically knocked down and rebuilt. So it's virtually a brand new resort uh, in 2019. So it's still looking really, really fresh because we all know what happened in 2019, 2020, 21. So there weren't a lot of guests. Um, so starting off with our superior rooms. So these are split into garden and sea view. Um, so you'll see the two different categories when you're booking. Um, 45 square meters, these are either on the ground or first floor. The vast majority of them are sea view, to be honest. Um, you have direct access to go out onto the beach and you can fit up to two adults and uh, one child or three adults because these day beds that you can see in the corner here. Um, so these are in, in a lot of the rooms and these are big day beds. So I'm five foot nine, so I'm fairly tall and I had no problem. They're basically, a, it's the size of a full size bed. Uh, single bed so they're they're pretty good sized next we have our garden family rooms so these are the rooms that are located around the pool and uh these are two separate rooms within one unit so it wouldn't i wouldn't go as far as calling it an apartment because there's no sort of living area as such but basically you go in one door and you've got a uh, parents room on one side kids room on the other side and kids room has got three of these day beds. So you can have up to three. You don't have to have three, you can have two um, kids beds. And as I said, you can have anywhere up to sort of teenagers. I wouldn't put a strapping great 18 year old boy, probably too tall, but otherwise they fit, you know, they fit pretty normal sized people. Then we have our premium family room. So this is a new room category. Um, so this, uh, the pictures aren't quite right because um, what they've done is as well as the parents bed, the main king bed, they then also have a pull out uh, double sofa bed with a bit of a sort of curtain to separate the two. So you can actually fit up to two adults and two children in these rooms. Uh, so again, really great for families, uh, just nice having that other option. Better probably for, for two younger children. Then we have our deluxe family rooms very similar to the garden family rooms in terms of the fact that it's, again, those two separate rooms. 
these are extremely popular, these room categories, obviously, because you've got so much space for a family. Um, these ones have got great views out over Lion Mountain and the ocean. They're in a slightly nicer location. They're a little bit bigger. Um, so yeah, again, you can fit that up to family of five. Then finally, our top two room categories. These are my favorites. Uh, we've got our prestige and our junior suites. So one thing to note with both of these room categories, you get an espresso machine. So for those that are into their coffees, that's nice to have in a room, I believe. I don't drink coffee, I don't know. Um, but basically, so the prestige rooms, you've got sort of two prestige rooms on the ground floor and then one junior suite that sits on top. You can see this beautiful A-frame, really lovely style of room. And these ones are absolute beach or ocean front. So you are getting the best views from here. Believe me, I've stayed in the prestige rooms. They are right there, absolutely stunning. Um, perfect for honeymooners or maybe someone with like a very young child um, because they are a little bit more open. So yeah, but I would say these are these are the, the best rooms. I love these rooms. Now, in terms of what you can do at Preskill, uh, as I mentioned, of course, we have uh, we have our kids club. So it's a fantastic kids club. They really get them out there doing lots of activities. Um, so that is for three to 12 year olds. And then, as I mentioned, something that was launched last year is our baby club. So again, three months to three years, four hours a day, three babysitting during the day. Now that is really, really unusual. Uh, we're only one of two hotels in the whole of Mauritius that do that. So uh, please do keep that in mind. I know it's not something that everyone wants, but it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty special if they do. Uh, we have an amazing spa, uh, of course, so you can have lovely spa treatments. We can set up uh, destination dining, something like this pirogue breakfast that this lady is doing. A pirogue is a traditional fishing boat. So we can set up a, a lovely breakfast on that. Um, we've got some fantastic water sports. Um, we do actually have a kite surfing school on the property. So it's it's a separate business, but it is based at the property. So if your clients want to do something a bit different, so maybe they've already done diving, they want to learn something new, they can learn how to kite surf or kite boil. Um, we also have our own catamaran, which uh, you know if we can you can either book out privately or um, go on a shared trip of an evening, lovely sundowners. It's very reasonably priced and I love a catamaran trip. So always worth doing. They've also got e-bikes, which you can take out to have a little cycle around the area. Um, we also have, of course, all the usual things you would expect, some fantastic uh, water sports because this lagoon that you can see in the picture behind me, like it is stunning. Like the water is crystal clear. You've got so many uh, like, corals and so that you can I kayaked all the way out to Illigret you know it's everything that you would expect snorkeling paddleboarding kayaks all that jazz um we've of course got tennis all of that kind of thing we've got a good gym uh, I know Graham joked about it but I actually am one of those people that uh spends at least every other day in the gym on holiday I know it's terrible but I do um and we also have a lovely sauna and her mom uh, which you can use when you have booked a spa treatment we have, of course, all inclusive, which I know certainly for the UK, that's what the majority of clients are wanting. It starts as soon as your guests arrive and finishes at three o'clock on the day of departure. As I mentioned, of course, breakfast and lunch at the buffet. And then you have the choice of buffet um, and a la carte for dinner. And you also get your small credit towards 1810. Uh, and of course, it's local beers, wines and spirits, which is pretty much generally how it works in Mauritius. We do have a premium all inclusive it, which is something that your clients could maybe upgrade to when they arrive. It's not something we can pre-book. They can just make that decision when they get there. Um, it gives them the uh, full use of 1810 restaurant as well. So a whole nother restaurant to choose from, as well as premium drinks um, and a lobster night uh, and a spa treatment. So definitely, if people are really into their food and drink, this is definitely worth doing when they arrive. So that is Preskill. I'm sorry, I'm whizzing through, but um, we're going to now quickly jump over to Solana. So now we are heading up the East Coast to Solana and uh, Solana is our adults only. So a different kind of fun in the sun here. So we had the wholesome family fun in the sun uh, at Preskill and now we've got our adults only fun in the sun up on the East Coast at Solana. So Solana is a really great leading four star adults only property. What you will see from this map is that every single one of our rooms are facing the ocean. 
So you are, every room category is ocean facing, which is fantastic. And we only have 117 rooms. So we are um, nice and small. So why would you send your clients to Solana? Well, as I said, adults only, uh, that's reason in itself, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but we are also quite close to Flack, which is another uh, Mauritian village. It's much bigger than my burg, um, and you would want to drive there, but they've got some fantastic Indian street food. It's kind of little India. So definitely worth a visit if you're into that. Uh, very reasonably priced, like so, so well priced Solana. We are absolutely flying on the UK market at the moment. It's really, really popular. Um, we've got some great adults only experiences and uh, we do have rooms available for those funny timed flights that the clients might have. So again, dining, similar um, sort of setup to Preskill. You've got Cinnamon, which is your buffet, which is breakfast, lunch and dinner, serving international food, uh, all sorts. They change it up every night. They'll have a different theme. So, you know, it's not like you're going to be having the same food all the time. Uh, Pomelo is the a la carte restaurant. So again, you just have to book in there 24 hours ahead of time, but that is also available on your um, packages. And then again, we have our paid restaurant Secrets, which is um, a Creole restaurant. So people can try that real sort of traditional Mauritian Creole uh, food. So we also, of course, with it being adults only, have a few more bars. Uh, Indigo Bar is our main bar. So this kind of spreads through the whole middle of the resort. And uh, you can either sit outside looking out over the water or you can sit on the other side uh, just chilling out. We've got sort of sand on both sides, so it's kind of cool. Um, we also have Coco Bar, which is, again, right down uh, facing the ocean. This is somewhere where uh, you can get fresh juices and some delightful poke bowls. Uh, they are at an additional cost, but um, some really nice things that you can buy here, um, as well as, of course, your inclusive drinks. We also have La Caz Rum. So this is something a little bit different. This actually used to be the kids club. This is a much better use of the space, I think. Uh, so this is our sort of um, uh, local traditional rums that you can try. They do some fantastic cocktails here. Again, they are paid. They're not included, unfortunately, in the all inclusive packages, but they do a rum passport where if you do buy 20 cocktails and they're very reasonably priced, they're not expensive cocktails, um, 20 cocktails between you, between two people, easy. Um, you get a free bottle of uh, local rum uh, and it's good rum. So definitely worth doing. And they've got this beautiful fire pit. So it's a great place to hang out of an evening. So accommodation wise, as I said, everything is ocean facing. The real difference is, is basically size. So your superior room, as you've got here, um, we're looking at is 39 square meters. So they're all of a really, really good size. The property itself, it's quite low rise. You've only got ground first and second floor. Uh, so these could be on any one of those uh, floors. You've got your deluxe rooms. These are just on the ground floor and these have got direct beach access. Uh, which is rather nice. And they're a little bit larger at 45 square meters. We've then got our prestige rooms. So these ones, again, ground first or second. Uh, these ones, again, top, top room categories have the espresso machines, um, slightly different angles there. Your bed is facing the ocean, which is rather nice. And then finally, our top room category is our junior suite. Uh, really, really big, nice big balcony, almost like a wraparound balcony. Um, they're usually on the corner and they are facing the ocean again, like you've got just beautiful views from there. Um, I This is my favourite room category, of course. Uh, it's nice and big. You get a very big bathroom. In terms of what you can do here at Solana, again, of course, we have our beautiful spa, um, which, again, you can use your sauna and hammam uh, if you book a spa treatment. Uh, we've got obviously Le Caz Rum, which is an experience in itself, trying all the rums. Um, and we can set up beautiful breakfasts either in the water like this, um, if you're feeling brave and it's not too cold, or we have a lovely little kiosk as well that we can set it up in. Uh, we have our own glass bottom boat. We also have a dive center, um, as does Preskill, but the dive center here is great because um, just like there's a reef just kind of further out so they've got some great dive sites nearby um yeah so it's a really great place to either learn to dive or if you're already certified to go out and do some dives worth going out to visit flack um and again we do have bicycle rental for clients if they want to again all inclusive works about the same way um starts as soon as they arrive and ends at three o'clock on the day of departure and again breakfast and lunch at the buffet you've got your two choices buffet and a la carte for dinner 
and you are again with the local beers, wines and spirits. Ooh. So <laughs> that was a lot of information, I'm sorry, but uh, hopefully you uh, like the look of those properties. Just a reminder that um, we are running our September campaign at the moment. Um, so we've got some fantastic discounts running until the end of October. So we can be booked through all of your major tour operators, um, depending on who you work for. Obviously, uh, we don't have we don't play favorites. You can book it through whoever you want. But uh, yeah, we do have those offers running until the end of October. So please do keep that in mind. We've also still got quite good availability uh, towards the end of December. So if you're looking for if you've got any clients that are after that kind of last minute somewhere nice and hot to go for Christmas or, you know, in December, do keep us in mind, especially Press Skills got some great availability in December. So uh, do bear that in mind. And that's me done. Thank you very much. My cat was sat watching that. I'll send you a photograph later. It was literally Aww. sat watching everything he was doing. <laughs> so we've got a couple of questions. Um, uh, half board at the Solana, which restaurants can clients use? Yeah, so again, with Solana, with half board, you still got your, you've got your buffet restaurant, which is your main option. And but I believe with half board, they can still use the, the Mediterranean um, at dinner. Um, and of course, anyone can book into Secrets. It's just that it is a paid restaurant. Um, with half board, you wouldn't get any credit. Uh, it would just be a paid restaurant. So it's not that you can't use it. You just pay the supplement. Okay, super. Um, the premium um, at Preskill, the, doing it when you're there, yeah. is it going to be introduced to agents so, at some point? Funnily enough, it used to be, and actually it's only just been taken off because oh. people weren't booking it. So um, it used to be on all contracts and they, just people weren't booking it. So they took it off. It's the same, you know, like they haven't changed the pricing or anything. But it's just that now it's it's just available to book um, at the resort. So, yeah, unfortunately, I don't see them bringing it back, which is a real shame. Um, I don't know why they did it personally, but that's uh, yeah. it is what it is. And I but I do recommend, uh, you know, that your clients, as I said, if they're into their food, uh, it's worth doing. Yeah, super amazing. Um, Katie, do you do agent rates? <laughs> agent rate. Yes, we do. Yeah. So uh, just get in touch and we can, uh, yeah, I can put you in touch with the team in Mauritius. But yes, absolutely. We do agent rates. Super amazing. Thank you very much. So we've awesome. been to the Dominican Republic, Mauritius and Anguilla today. So that was your fun in the sun webinar. So now we're going to get to the part of the day where we ask you a little question. So as a reminder, everybody on the webinar today gets one prize draw entry point. If you answer these questions correctly, you get 10 entries. And then tomorrow I put you all in the spin to win and the computer decides who the winner are. Winner is, I was going to say then, but it's winners are. <laughs> So, um, Mr. Graham, what's well, your... Are you ready for the question? Everyone in chat, make sure you drop down, says everyone, and go Graham. Well, it's a difficult question. Hopefully you're paying attention to the presentation. But the Impressive Results has a fantastic Mediterranean restaurant. What's it called? <laughs> um, is it the olive tree? <laughs> You, wow, that was so quick. Yes, it is the olive tree. So you mentioned a uh, Italian. I can see a cat's tail. Uh, he's he's terrorising. It's dinner time, so he's hungry. Um, oh. He's gone away now. That's good. Um, so next person, Carolyn. Okay. Of the three villas, one of them is on an award-winning, iconic. Caribbean beach. What is that beach? The name the of the beach. There we go. So, um, Jo spelt it wrong, but I think she's just got a little bit trigger happy. She's put me on, <laughs> which I'm sure she meant Meads Beach or Meads Bay. Mead, is it Bay or Beach? Bay. Okay, so would you accept Joe? It's a beach, but it's a bay. Spelling it M E A N D. I think she's just got trigger happy. That's fine. <laughs> okay, good, good. And last but not least, Katie. Okay, um, so I would like to know what 
age group does the baby club at Preskill take? The baby club. Okay, so yeah, I can see. I've got three months to answer. three years. Yeah, that's what it is. Three months to three years. Correct. Very quick. Very, very, very. It's because it's so exciting. All these people are like, yes, I could hand over my infant child. Hooray. Take it. Of, yeah, clients do want that. Mitch. From the traveling with kiddies. There was somebody commenting today something about the kids' clubs being four. And do you think my child will be allowed in at three and two weeks off being four? And I was like, no. Oh, nope. <laughs> well, won't. Come, to, have come to Preskill. They can come there. Preskill. Go to Preskill. Preskill can do it. So super. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for the super amazing presentations. And thank you to all the trade. I know you're busy. Go back and start booking and get bookings in. If you need any further help, I'll send the um, follow up tomorrow with the recording um, and the email addresses and everything. Sorry, I'm losing my voice as well. <clears throat> the uh, email addresses will be copied in. So if you've got any further questions for Katie, Carolyn or Graham, you can drop them a little note and ask them. So thank you. Have a great weekend, everybody. And we will see you all next week. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Miss you already. <laughs> Derek, <laughs> I've just got a quick question for you. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'll email you. Just, just regarding the yeah, invoice. I'll email you. Okay. Okay. Nice to see you, Graham. Nice to see you, Katie. Take care. Take Bye. care.